Hi, I'm Manthan and I'll be presenting the paper A Comparative Study of Different EMG Features for Acoustics to EMG Mapping. This is the outline of the presentation. First, I'll give a brief introduction about the work. Then I'll go into the details of the study and talk about the experimental setup. I'll conclude my presentation with the results and discussions. Let's first start with the introduction. So what is EMG? Electromyography or EMG is a technique for evaluating and recording the electrical activity produced by muscles. In this work, the EMG signal captures muscle activities resulting from the articulatory muscle activations during the speech production. There are mainly two objectives of this work. First is to estimate the EMG signal from speech acoustics, which is essentially divided into two steps, that is speech acoustics to EMG inversion or AEI mapping as we call in this work and then reconstructing raw EMG signal from the EMG features, which is step two. To do this, we find the best EMG feature representation for the AEI mapping and raw EMG reconstruction. The EMG feature representations in this work are divided into three categories. So firstly, we examine the existing time domain features of the EMG signal. Secondly, we explore non-speech temporal features of the EMG signal. And lastly, we introduce a novel Hilbert transform based feature for the EMG signals few of the applications of this work. So it can be used to visualize the facial muscle activity from speech signal. This can also be helpful in identifying key muscles which are getting activated for each phoneme, which can further be useful in improving speech synthesis and recognition. The synthetic EMG signals generated from these mappings can also help in improving the speed EMG to speech acoustics forward mapping performances. It can be also helpful in solving the low resource problem of the EMG acoustic data. Now coming to the baseline work. So Botello et al used five TD features for the AEI mapping. They used a simple DNN based network for the AI mapping by using stacked input frames of the MFCC to account for the temporal dependencies in the data. And for the raw EMG reconstruction, they used a CNN BLSTM based network to map from the TD features to the raw EMG. They achieved a concordance correlation coefficient value of 0.65 for the AI mapping and 0.66 for the raw EMG reconstruction. Now coming to the data set which is used in this work. So the EMG UK corpus consists of parallel recordings of surface electromyography and acoustic recordings of speech in the English language. These have been recorded at KIT lab in Germany. The full corpus has two large sessions recordings from two different subjects that is UK 1 and UK 2 as we call in this work with 520 and 509 utterances respectively. These two 